fashionista, Lil Debbie, um, out here doing an interview with a big city dive. Look it up. Holla at us. You feel me? Doing big shit. How long have you been DJing for? This DJing stuff basically came up when the white girl mob started happening. Um, I kind of just jumped into it, yeah. not knowing if I wanted to do it or not. So I've only been DJing for probably like six or seven months. It's not like I have years of experience or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, you know, got yeah. on there, started touching the tables, yeah. and then things kind of progressed. What are your thoughts of like the lack of female DJs out there? I've been like kind of seeing like more and more female DJs, which is fucking awesome because I want people to like, yeah. I want more girls out there, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Girl empowerment. No doubt. And who doesn't want to see like a sexy ass like DJ? <laughs> DJ, there, like, right? Shit. <laughs> With the fashion, what, what do you have? trying to eat clothing line. I've been doing fashion for years. I was modeling when I was like seven years old. Okay. My mom was a designer and my grandmother was an interior designer. My grandpa was a, was a tailor. It's like in my blood. <laughs> it's like in yeah. my bloodline, like literally. I'm in the midst of like working with other companies. They're not like big, huge companies. Yeah. They're more like underground, like smaller companies, which right. is what I want to do because I want to be more in touch with like the people like my people. When little Debbie wakes up in the morning, like how do you decide? <laughs> like, what are the thoughts? This is what I'm gonna put on. The color, like I love red, so like I wear a lot oh, of red. Oh, cool, cool. Usually, it's like a lot of influence from like Oakland. And then when yeah. I came down here, there was a lot of influence of like the LA and like what I saw around me. Mm -hmm. Like I think I have like a really like urban, bohemian, like edgy kind of look. If something isn't comfortable, like I will not put it on. Like if I gotta go to the club, I'd probably wear this and be like, what's yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about like your relationship with Krayshawn. Like you, I mean, you guys look like sisters, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. your, your friendship, you guys are good friends. Well, yeah. how, how White Girl Mob actually yeah. started was with us kicking it. Yeah. It was me, Krayshawn, yeah. and Be Nasty. Yeah. And they rapped and you know, I was just kind of there like yeah. kicking it. Then it just kind of ended up me being like the fashionista of the group, and then it ended up me being like right. like the DJ kind of, which I'm not doing right now. White Girl Mob started up from us kicking it. Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. that's how it started. Yeah. Be Nasty went to jail, and Krayshawn started rapping about yeah. Be Nasty, you know? Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's how it happened. Ah, so we've word. all been like rocking with each other for like five or six years. With or without like White Girl Mob being together or not, me, Krayshawn, and Be Nasty yeah. will always be sisters. So what do you have like coming up right now? Having a couple clothing lines come out with different people, it's more of like my artistic creative like direction that they're looking for. Um, I'm all over the place. Dope. I have like all four lanes open right now, so there's nothing like that I can't do, I don't feel like. Right. For me, it's like not about the money. Like I'm happy with like simply just inspiring someone, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Hearts brave, drowning in a way you save me. Just cry if you don't. You'll spy by the throat.